This is my reaction to Lego Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 1, Episode 15. They call it Doom. In the last episode, Nia and Sora met the last Jin alive after they got cursed by some things. And the last Jin kind of like gave up, throwing himself a pity party. And Sora was also throwing herself a pity party and saying, like, oh, I'm cursed. Like, you know, there's nothing I can do and whatever. And it was kind of just like, I, I wasn't a fan of that. Um, and ultimately, they. Both realize, like, yeah, we can fight, and they both fought and defeat the ghosts and are good now. Also, if you like fun early added reactions to Lego Ninjago and other shows I react to, you can join my Patreon like all these lovely people. The support really does help me out and really means a lot. So I can keep making videos like these for guys on a regular basis. So if you would like to help join and support me, the link that is down below. So y'all too. The hardship, the drama I have personally endured. Egotistical oh. villain monologues are always boring. Yeah. We will have the Dragon Energy Core forever! Oh! No core for you! No core for yeah. you! Yeah! Was I just robbed by a troop of waddling fire Philistines? You were. After them! We have to get that core first. They're small and tiny. Gotcha. Or do you? We launch the flaming boulders if you say what? What? Oh, you said <laughs> it! You! Launch the flaming boulders! Our final defense system! Oh. I wish we could locate the missing dragon energy core. Hey! Oh, uh, compass? Arrow? Oh, damn it. Aracor! It is okay, Ninjasora. My strength will grow back with time and practice. This thing, what? Acts like a kind of compass? Yeah. Yes. It will point you toward the item you seek. Oh. And the little but mighty Ryu. Yeah. All your wishes come true. Buttercream, Butterflake, Crisp Flake, and finally, Crumble Wall. Wow, <laughs> mistake. Guess there can be 52 different kinds of pie crust. Great. Uh, Lloyd, that mother garden place the temple spirit said to look for? I think we found it. Ooh, it's nice and pretty here. I'm sure nothing bad will pop up. Oh, that seems easy. Easier to find than I thought it'd be. I feel like a bunch of snail are gonna Wait, pop out of those shells. The spirit told us the cores were entrusted to people. That was centuries ago. There could still be someone protecting it. We should ask permission before we just take it. Yeah, good point. But ask who? The shells that yeah, snail people. Congratulations, wanderers, for you have passed our little test. Oh, good. You'd have been captured like the last guy. Last guy? Last guy? I'm assuming someone from Beatrix's Behold, squad. Behold, the would-be core thief. Yeah. Captain? You two, get me out of here. No, fuck you. Okay, bye. Why is Raptin oh, after I'm the cleave. Beats me. What? It? They're gonna destroy me. <laughs> he oh, thinks well. you wanna hurt him. <laughs> he does. And he's totally right. He's a thief. I mean, fair. So we're going to throw him into the doom, Mucus. Valid. He's already doomed if he goes in there. Okay, bye. Well, that's why we call it that. <gasps> what? See. You gotta help me! Uh, he is not on our side. I don't know why you're freaking about this. Y'all, oh god. I know you think this is a game, but we need that thing to save the world! <laughs> you expect me to believe that annoying girl you're with is gonna save the world? I mean, fair. Probably not. Break. One break coming up! Oh! oh Nice. You're going to talk. Ah! First, she has the same elemental power as me. How's that even a thing? 
Now she's a core hog. This kid is the worst. Yeah, kind of. I will say in this, I guess, new gen of Dragon's Rising era we're in. Wildfire is probably my least favorite of the characters, not gonna lie. Um, she's kinda just annoying at this point. Nowhere near as bad as you know who, and I'm not even gonna speak their name because if I speak it, he might show up. I'm not gonna do that. But just know that it's not my favorite right now. Oh, hi, hello. Oh, he's a big boy now. Oh, wow, that's a big boy. This is where the magic compass led us. But now the arrow's just spinning. We must be close. But what is this place? Junkyard? The Raptor here is slated to be destroyed? Oh, yes. So? And they said mucoids don't punish those. Yeah. Who the rules. Balan. Well, naturally, no one has ever said that. I, I just have a very active fantasy life. I mean, fair. So, obviously, you won't be taking that option. Go oh, enjoy your core and... Yeah, just take your core and leave. I'll do it. Lloyd! You will? You will? You will? No one ever... Quit being a fucking goody-goody and just let him die. As your teacher, it's vital I instill in you the knowledge that all life is important. Oh, That's shut right. up. Hey! Oh, well, I hide! Oh! Yeah, just run for it. No core for us. Oh. There's no reason to be nervous. There isn't? Nerves are only for situations in which you don't know the outcome. <laughs> you already know your teacher will meet his demise, so Great. relax. That might be the worst advice anyone has ever given me. Fair. Given this enough time, let's head back so you can make funeral arrangements. It just started! <gasps> Footsteps? It can't be! Well, that was easy. <gasps> oh, it's salt! But the path is completely covered in salt! Salt is the ultimate doom! It is impossible to. Oh, ha ha ha. Oh, now it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, no. Salt can be deadly to snails, but isn't dangerous for us, like at all. If you, if you eat too much of it, we even eat salt. <laughs> that's not good. Oh, he failed. I would imagine that's an expression of gratitude. I like kept him in the slime ball. Did maybe keep him alive and he just didn't kill him? I would definitely like to express my thanks. I uh, yeah. Oh my god, who's the that coming? <laughs> oh, that did not seem gracious, but uh No shit! The customs among their people are different. No, it's not, it's just a dick. Oh great. This was supposed to be a routine examination of the legality of this foliage, but now we uncover an unlicensed cosmic power source. Who the fuck are you two? So much paperwork. Let's take it back to the administration and get started on our 1083B forms. What? What? Aaron, run! Ah, uh, this has been the weirdest day. Rich on me. Heat waves hurt. We have to. Oh yeah. Hey, we just want to talk. Please stop. Yeah. No one touches these children. Oh. Ooh. Could this monster be coal related anyway? Spin Jitsu? <gasps> huh? It is. Coal? Is that you? 
Yeah, I'm actually Lemon and Jago Dragons Rising Season 1, Episode 15, They Call It Doom. So, Lloyd and Aaron met the snail people, and they're easily able to get the ore because they're like, oh yeah, no, if you just ask, we'll get it to you. That's fine. Um, they found out that, um, I forget his name, the guy who works for Beer Drugs, did not ask, got captured, and was gonna be sentenced to death. So Lloyd had to walk the dark path, which was salt, so he's fine. Then I guess a bunch of time travelers or something showed up and took the orb and then disappeared in the port. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Kai and Wildfire all fought with the little rock lava people and the magician man. They all fought for it. Ultimately, Kai and Wildfire did get the orb. However, um, Heatwave got hurt in the process. And Kai, Sora, and Ryu made it to a junkyard type area. Where they met Cole, I guess? I think he's back? As a rock monster? I don't know why. He's like a rock monster. Maybe that's just like armor or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm really happy. It's been a while. I'm glad he's back. So, yeah. That's it.